Welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII commentary. Last time, uh, we got the two huge materia. One... Well, Cursor, off. It will in a second. I, <laughs> I remember it. I don't... I think it's as soon as I enter the, the hospital. Wait. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, we, last part we got the two huge materia. The one from Fort Condor and the one from Corel. But now we're coming in back here in Medeal to check on Cloud and Tifa. You know there's an option so that the video doesn't pick up the cursor, eh? I, I know we set it up once, but it just turned off or something. Well, it, it, it's because we set it, we probably set it up with something different. Oh. Eh, whatever. Get out of the person. <laughs> no, Sid really likes the doctor. <laughs> but, uh, just the full warning, this part is all plot. I don't think it's a single random battle, but there's a lot of plot. Well, not plot, more so but character development and under and finding out stuff about Manny Cloud. I'll just say that. But the, actually, no, wait, I was wrong. There's one battle. Just one. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> like how this part, like when you stop saying still, uh, Sid, like, is a pose. <laughs> also, this is the first time we've ever, ever only had one part to commentate over in a recording session. Yeah. Because uh, I, forgot, I, didn't, I forgot to get a second one, but eh. <laughs> it's like I forgot I had to record the game. But the thing is, Zach, this one part is about as long as l yesterday's two parts. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> actually. That's the thing. Last I had two parts, but they were short. But anyways, mm. sweet rave party in Medeal. Yeah, really. What the hell? That's is one of the weapons. It's the Ender Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> What's it doing in normal world? <laughs> I didn't kill any Endermen. And I didn't even make a portal to the Nether. And I need to go to the Nether to get the other items I need. <laughs> but yeah, see, you know, see, just, this is Ultima Weapon. Tech, you, this is the only time you're forced to fight him. Because technically, you have to, he's optional after this point. Hmm. But you just Actually, now that, I, now that I look at it better, it kind of looks more like Zekrom. Yeah, I, I can see the, like, the relationship between that. It does look pretty similar, although it would be the other way around, technically. <laughs> Zekrom is similar to Ultimate Weapon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm still too psyched over the fact that Cloud's coming to Smash. Oh, can't wait. Mm hmm. I'll probably be getting that as soon as possible, as long as money <laughs> agrees with it. <laughs> yep. But, really, this fight's pretty. I think. No, don't die! <sighs> you were just about to use your limit. <laughs> Vincent. Also, I accidentally used a Phoenix down on all the weapon. <laughs> Whoops. It's because of the way I kept pressing left to try to get the Vincent, but it went goes over him first. And I had to, like, press down and go down the Vincent, so. I it kind of went, I wasn't expecting it to cover over Ultimate Weapon, so... <laughs> Ultimate Weapon got a fe free Phoenix down. <laughs> it did nothing, though. I know, it has. Thankfully. Well, what else could it do? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. The only thing a <laughs> Phoenix down that does differently is that it would kill an instant, uh, like a zombie or something. Actually, you know that one boss you fight in Cosmo Canyon and the Gi, the gi thing or whatever? The under the spirit I thing, so, the fire. Yeah. Um, if you use a phoenix down on him, it pretty much instant kills him. Hmm. I wanted to find like the normal way to show how he's supposed to fight him. You I should wait. Trying to escape. Wait, wait. Yeah, he leaves. Uh, or somewhat. But the phoenix down. Actually, actually, wait. I might be wrong about the phoenix down, but I know an elixir pretty much kills uh, the gi instantly. I don't know if they should put the phoenix down though. Hmm. But why waste an elixir on a boss that's not that hard to defeat? Also, no. <laughs> Super the wave, the wave never ends. <laughs> Just screw everything. Run for your lives. Only think about yourself. That sounds like Sid. Also, running in circles. Oh wait, Cloud. I'm the only one on the street that's- Wait, you guys saved me, because I'm the only one that's actually important in the main plot. You guys just help me. Why is this wheel just like spinning? Is it? Oh my god, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed that. 
Um, I think it's because something's holding him still, but because of the shaking, it's moving the wheels. I, I guess so. That was ultimate weapon. <laughs> oh. So he didn't technically leave, but he kind of got out of the veins of our fighting. Because ultimate weapon can fly. Also CG. To an extent, that was. Yeah. <laughs> Although, yeah, they're like, still in a small form. Also, look at Cloud. I kind of call this like... <laughs> Cloud has seen some what shit. What the fuck? I kind of call this like semi-CG. It's like, it's animated, but it's not like some of the other CG cutscenes. This one just has, it kind of has the same style as the sprite. It's like they, they changed the graphics, kind of. They had the like, new graphic versions, like CG versions of these versions, instead of like realistic size. So pretty much we're falling into the live stream. Well, damn. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome to the void. <laughs> what a stupid step off. I'm always the villain. X death. <laughs> I was tempted to put the spin me right, right round for that spot because Tiva keeps spinning, but nah. Yeah. No, you should have done that when you feel was poisoned and confused. <laughs> How many parts ago was that? I don't, I don't think it was too many. Was Can't it remember, yet? But it was probably no. like like three or four parts ago. Something like that. I can't hear. Where are we? Tell me, someone. It's not me! Ah, uh, we're going into the fucking... that shit again. Oh, not me! Oh my god. So wait, is Tifa gonna lose her mind just like Cloud now? Also, ear rape time. Wait for it. Oh. This worries me. Oh. Play that at max volume <laughs> when I'm playing the recording. Uh, so I do I to assume that you lowered that? No, that was just uh so many clouds. Yeah, where the hell am I? Where am I? Cloud? Oh no, cloud got the big glitch again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? That sounds familiar. This place exists oh. between hell. <laughs> <and reality. laughs> Why hell? <laughs> <laughs> There's so much persona in this art, man. What's the first thing that came to mind? Mind, it matter. But pretty much what we're doing right here is we're pretty much trying to figure out what the truth is behind Cloud. Because at this point, we don't even know if this really Cloud or not Cloud. We must reach out to the truth. <laughs> the references will never Or risk stop. mass destruction. <laughs> the hymn for everyone's soul. <laughs> I can go on for hours. <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty much, we're going to, yeah, piece everything together, they're going to stand, okay, what really happened, what is the truth, which one's the lies, and that's pretty much the entire part. Because <laughs> I knew, that's why I had to really? stop before going to Medeo, because I knew this section was really long. Hmm. Oh. The only, there's the only one person in this entire town have a truck, or <laughs> something. Okay. <laughs> also, there's some trippy like, effects of Cloud, like he just phases in to existence five years ago. How many times have we heard that? This about this little scene. Oh, what? Oh, I said, oh. <laughs> Is 
Is it gonna be somebody else, somebody else this time? No, not. Well, first we're learning. We're trying to hear it from Cloud's like what he remembers. So for now, it's gonna be. I'm pretty sure it's Cloud for the first time. Uh, I'll step off to his laugh. <laughs> no. Looks like, he's, looks like he's coughing. Yeah, a bit. Maybe that's because of the mouth animation. <laughs> yeah. Oh hi, Cloud. Oh hi, me. <laughs> Yay! No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. But now Tifa's pretty much gonna explain when they did what she's been hiding, that she knew something was off, that this isn't right. So what'd she just do with her feet there? <laughs> <laughs> she just kinda like went back for a second. <laughs> Run, Tifa, run! Uh, stuff off teleporting all the time. Now it's showing that what what actually happened. What Seth off actually showed earlier. Uh, except for that, that had just cut out. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, Cloud has to figure it out himself. With a little bit of assistance. Also, that giant cloud is always distracting. <laughs> like, uh, I have the biggest migraine right now. <laughs> but now, in order to, to start this, we have to find a, mem a memory from the past, from um, many years ago when they were kids. You know that cutscene way, way back in part two when we had the the the, the promise at the well. You, uh, kind of? Yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> like it was 27 episodes ago. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah. From the beginning. At the beginning, the, the universe was created by the Big Bang. No, not that far back, Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you said the beginning. <laughs> Boom. Well, you were like kids at this point. Of course, you'd be small. To so your stories, I guess that. Wait, how did that work? That makes no sense. Mm. He talked at the well. Oh well. Huh. But you thought it was cloud, but it was a spy. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> and then, pretty much, since that memory you can't trust, uh, because it may be falsified or something, uh, mm -hmm. we gotta actually, um, Cloud has to remember a memory that would. Tifa would be number, but without Tifa having to bring it up, so. Hmm. It's complicated. This is like a whole mind fuck part. Now, trying to see, wondering how this is gonna work in the HD remasters in the interest. Well, remake. Sorry, it's even better than a remake. It's a remake, full of full blown remake. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a mu- Oh, it's that giant cloud in HD. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the giant cloud's making it hard to see you. <laughs> yep. Yep, this is definitely a pipe filled episode. Yeah, that's what I said. The music is getting really, uh, <laughs> I don't Repetitive? yes. Oh. 
No, this ain't lavender. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, ju I just picked up what you were doing there before you said it. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second, but I got it. <laughs> and that's mm -hmm. coming to 3DS. <laughs> yep. I wonder if Missy No was still. So I was just peeping in through the window. <laughs> what? Well, I also searched through your drawers. Remember that? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, why did I bring that up? <laughs> no, we find out that's the memory that gets them to become, realize who he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the memory, the memory is smashing his ass on the piano. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he lost his memories. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just like the, mu the music he was playing was so bad that, he, that his memories just started slowly slipping away. You no, know, he was so bad he wanted to forget that and he did, but he forgot everything else. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> forgetting one thing may cause side effects of forgetting everything else. Yeah. Yeah, Tia had her own party. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, like, gang. Well, then. Loner Cloud. The Loner. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, wait, they had Tifa have a... Does Tifa never change her room as you grow up? <laughs> I don't know. I guess not. I guess Tifa really hates change. Because everything's the exact same. And. Same chair, same <laughs> now we're really getting into fucking Persona because we got fucking Shadow Cloud. Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know you should you should have kept going with that. You would have been the baseline. <laughs> Wait, you're live. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's like you're, you're live, and nobody's watching. And then, oh, there it is. Yeah, this was the day you're. Wait, you don't remember this day? It seems to be something you don't remember. Uh, your mother kind of died. Boop. Dum bum dum. And pretty much she got really depressed at this point. She tried to run away, tried to see it. Cause she, they're like young kids. Like I'm gonna guess around maybe like seven or eight. So they don't really understand death. So mm. she can't handle it. So she tries to run to the mountains. Yes. So Tifa tries takes the first and goes to the mountains of Nibble. Nibble. Nibble nibble nibble. Nibble nibble heim heim. Nib Mount Nibble. <laughs> Mount Nipple. What the no. what? What the, that one kid scared or something? Yeah, that one kid's a coward. Ah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It comes like, what was his problem? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I uh, better just keep up with them. But stay out of sight. Okay, how can they... Cloud? Is there like a... Well, I guess there's a pit there, but... Uh, there's a point where they're like, wondering, why would you not take the shortcut? Yeah. But, ooh, a bridge. You know this bridge? The bridge that would eventually break? Which got fixed again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that bridge. <laughs> so the other kids ran left. And, yep. boom. Okay. That very That's sudden. something. Yeah, they fell off the cliff. Oh. Is that what happened? Yeah. 
Tifa fell in a coma, but Cloud only got a scarred leg. Uh oh. And then they just get mad at Cloud, blaming him. Because it's totally Cloud's fault that Tifa ran away, even though Cloud was not anywhere near. Oh yeah, definitely. Of course. <laughs> I'm guessing that guy was Tifa's father, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Only if it's... And it's pretty much, this event would eventually lead the Cloud wine to be, uh, become a member of Soldier, because he blames himself for that, and he felt weak. So he wants to get recognition so Tifa would notice him, which leads to him hearing about Sephiroth, which leads to him wanting to become a member of Soldier. Yeah. Hmm. So now we know the reason why he wanted to become a member of Soldier. But how did he become a member of Soldier? A better question, if. Because we don't even know for sure if he actually did become a member of Soldier. Now I know. I have proof. So okay, show it to the jury. Show show what e show what evidence proves that Cloud was not made five years ago. You present your attorney badge. <laughs> Take that. Take that. <laughs> this evidence clearly proves that Cloud was not five years ago. Uh, nope. Fuck. <laughs> Come back here, you. No, no, did you hear what I said? Like, you present your attorney badge. God damn it! No. <laughs> That's nothing new. So is it the gumshoe? Okay, I'm getting really sick and tired of that. Oh, that means you can't. Oh, I just realized you can't even do that in Dual Destinies because gumshoe's not there, is he? No, but you still present to the full right. I guess, but it's not the same. Gumshoe was always. No, nah, it's definitely not the same. No. <laughs> The reactor? Question mark? The maker reactor five years ago. With your narrator, Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> Luigi is always narrating. So this one looks. Oh, this again. Yep. Whooshing! Uh, Too much. Matrix hey, what? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was my. But I already yep. used that song for the oh. one part. <laughs> so I don't need to... Hey, it's not Cloud. Yeah, it's, it's Zach. Zachary, Zaku. Zaku. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, obviously you were very, very close there, but you were wrong. Zaku. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's me. Yeah. <laughs> he's got he's got my crazy hair. <laughs> Then where were you, Cloud? If you said if you knew this was happening, so where, you must be. And <laughs> bum bum dum. You know that one thing we first saw when Cloud like cut off. Yeah, that's pretty much he's like that. And it, it was, that got sent flying. <laughs> I saw everything though. Yeah. You know that one soldier that was always there, keeping watching over Tifa outside. Yeah. Uh. That was Cloud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the entire time, Cloud was that one soldier, Shinra soldier that was there. And also... Whishing! Apparently, Sephiroth wasn't paying attention at all. Ooh. Ow, that hurt, you know. <laughs> That's what you get for turning your back. But Sephiroth's still alive. That's the now boss fight now. <laughs> oh god, Seth Cloud would get his ass handed to him. But it, wait, it's a bit of a contradiction. How does Cloud remember fighting the dragon and getting his ass handed to him? Uh, yes. I don't know. Yeah. Guess that something he made up. You were there. Cloud was always there that entire time, just not the same person he thought he was. So it was you. You were the culprit. <laughs> this is the real me, the true self. Yeah. Your sword is clipping through your eye. 
Meh. See, see, he, see, he was even holding his eyes like, ow! Ow! <laughs> Zach, why did you do that? The thing is, yeah, Cloud and Zach are actually are, like, sure. good friends, like, during this time. Which, mm. you get more info on that. Actually, I'm gonna get to some stuff that optional, they give you a little more story between Zach and Cloud, but if you want the full, like, even more details, you need to play Crisis Core, the PSP game. Because that game is all about being Zack. And leading up to some events that lead up to Seven. Yeah, that soldier hmm. right there, that was Cloud. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I win. I'm a protagonist now, Zack. <laughs> Take that. And hold it. Yeah, uh, Cloud was still the same person who picked up Tifa and put her there. It was it, even, but, but just at different times. You know, being stabbed today was not the first thing I had on my list. Uh, <laughs> wasn't even the last thing I had on my list. Actually, wasn't on the list at all. I don't even have a fucking list. Just <laughs> <laughs> two things what I want. Like, take ahead. Now I'm gonna leave while I'm ahead. <laughs> See, because I got ahead. <laughs> Yes. No. See, I'm dangling it. <laughs> the walking animation that Sephiroth makes is weird. He just, like, moves his arms around. Cloud. How is he even hanging there like that? Zack is a cloud. Kill Sephiroth. It's, it's, Easier said than done. <laughs> it, it seems like he should, like, slide off of that, though. Yeah. Sephiroth! You're letting him know you're behind him. Eggman! You steal my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. She's still back there. Yeah, he's like, let me point. Oh, you're in the way. Oh, that's no problem for me. <laughs> also, this defies physics. Okay, Cloud grabs that and somehow pushes it down. However, if you're in mid-air, how are you going to get the momentum and push to push yourself down? That doesn't work! How did you, how did you, have, how did you have enough strength to pull up there in the first place. Zephov is a super soldier. And Cloud, I don't know how he did it. <laughs> I guess Cl I guess Zephov is very light. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and that's how Cloud saved the day. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Which gets re somewhat retconned in Crisis Core. <laughs> There's a little bit more details of this in Crisis Core. And now we're back here again. Yeah, because now we're pretty much done, because we know for sure that Cloud... This is real Cloud. This is Cloud... Dirty, boring music again. Yeah. Now we all must become one. Everyone, come to me. <laughs> but you must do it at the same time. So take your time, yep, yep. And now one at a time. You first. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So, yeah, this whole part is just Cloud becoming, realizing just who he is and realizing who his true self is. Hey, Persona Games, this is how you do it in, like, less than an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, you know, this game seems like it would be, like, the prelude to a Persona game or something, because it leads up to a whole character development like it. I mean, Cloud starts off thinking it's one thing, but actually it's something else, and pretending to be something else other than he isn't. That sounds like Persona territory. Yep. Okay, personally, I would have wanted to see it where all, all like the the transparent clouds go into the cake cloud, and he just grows grows taller like Mario or something. Maybe <laughs> because <laughs> Godzilla cloud. <laughs> Take this stuff. That would be a mega. That would be a mega cloud you need. Yeah. Make a cloudite. <laughs> okay. I'll show you my mega, mega cloudite for your mega sephiroth. For... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll show you my mega cloudite for, uh, for your mega sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> but now, uh, how do we get out of here? <laughs> uh, Right through the fucking ceiling. Ah, it's a swim. Whoop! I hardly called it swimming. I may be floating back to the 
Uh, I guess they just w- woke up or something. I don't. Yeah, that was good now. That, this part is really confusing. It doesn't really explain how that how that all worked, but I'm guessing it's just because they have a close connection. Tifa was able to connect to clouds on a spirit, like because of the live stream and all that. And then everybody's here. Yeah, everyone was waiting here because Medeal. We came back up, thankfully, in the same spot. Where is he? Ah, uh, just a little to your left. The real cloud. The true self. Yeah, he had the courage to look inside himself. Damn, Cloud has a persona. <laughs> what kind of fucking persona does he have? I don't even want to think about it. But yeah, people have so many pent-up set themselves. <sighs> so many things they can never forget. Strange, isn't it? Yay. And <laughs> 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 hey, welcome to reference the part. <laughs> yeah. But now we're back on the airship. So, uh, hi guys. Uh, I'm sorry because of everything and... Cool cloud. Yeah, roll it. Well, I'm sorry, I'm apologizing too much. Wait, that's a problem. That's got to do. That's gonna be weird. I'm, I'm sorry for. I'm sorry that I'm sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> that sounds extremely Canadian now that I think about it. So now Klaus just explained that he pretended to be pretty much Zach, like who Zach was, because he wanted to be like Zach. Basically, he's built like a so- member of Soldier because of Hojo's whole plan. Because so- Hojo kind of messed with Cloud afterwards, which we'll get into later. Which, in an optional thing that I'm going to do, probably next part if I'm able to do it at this point. But, yeah, Cloud was like injected with Genova cells to become pretty much a member, like as strong as a member of Soldier would be. Which is kind of also what affected his mentality a bit. Um, and why he kind of thought he was like Zack. And that's why he had voices. You know those po- time, points in the story where Cloud had voices in his head when he was, like, sleeping in that? Oh, yeah. That's pretty much Zack. That's, like, he's like, remembering stuff from Zack. Hmm. Which is kind of why it kind of messes him up. And I tell you also why you see those moments where Cloud, you hear the, the loud ringing noise. That is, like, his head's, like, messed, like, showing that he's messed up. So the game has been foreshadowing this throughout the entire game. So it's not like a last moment thing. There ain't no getting off of this train. It's like the catchphrase of the they all, There ain't no getting off this train, there they all leave. We're not on a train, we're on an airship. What is with you guys? It's a train on the airship. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, now I can equip the crystal sword I got a while ago. Like, oh, yeah. It's like I knew I was getting cloud back or something. Also, I realized, uh,. You know what? I'm gonna wait till I make my party, and I'll get everyone set up. Uh, other than the weapons, they have the exact same amount of slots. But after that, I gotta change my equipment around, because Yuffie has a piece of armor I want to give the cloud. So I just wait till mm, I can get... We're not, we're not really using Sid, so... Oh yeah, I'm pretty much done using Sid for like the rest of the game. Okay, I only have wanted to work on Sid for a bit, because I knew Sid has temporarily, a, like, the party leader. So, also I put Sid in my party, even though I, I, it's kind of a wave considering I remember that Yuffie has the piece of armor that I want to give. I just forgot because that was the previous recording session, which was the day before. Hmm. So pretty much they're telling, oh yeah, Cloud, this is what's going on. We're kind of looking for these things called Huge Materia, and um, yeah, we're going, we need to go to the underwater reactor. CCI. No, he, you know, he, he, just comes, he just comes back and he's like, oh yeah, I know all about that. It's like, wait, you do? How the hell did you know that? <laughs> uh, Tifa was telling me while I was in a comatose state. Meanwhile, in the deal, to Cloud, uh, I know you can't hear me, but we're pretty much still getting this huge material and that. I don't know how the, how well they're doing, but uh, I, I think we have good chances. <laughs> it's like, Tifa, did you really expect him to understand? Eh. <laughs> Oh my god, somebody, somebody made a, uh, a Sonic the Hedgehog game tier list. What? 
<laughs> yeah, they actually made me a tier list of Sonic the Hedgehog games. Let's see what we God have here. God tier is probably three knuckles. God tier is, is uh, th three, two, and CD. CD? What the? Who's the? What kind of drugs are they? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, next rank down is Generations, Sonic 1, Sonic Advance, Colors, Rush, Rush Adventure, and Advance 2. Uh, next down is Heroes, Battle, Adventure 2, Advance 3, Riders, and Zero Gravity. Next down is Adventure, Unleashed, Lost World, and Rivals. Okay, Adventure should be higher than Adventure 2. I can agree with that. Um... Then next down is Rivals 2, Black Knight, and Shadow. Rivals 2 wasn't that... Okay, Rivals 2 should be higher up. Yeah, probably. Wait, what was Rivals uh, 1? Was that higher up already? Yeah, it, it was one rank higher. Oh, okay. Yeah, then next rank down is 06 and Secret Rings. And then at the bottom of the list is Free Riders and Boom. So at least people understand that 06 is not the worst. <laughs> yes, yeah, 06 is definitely not the worst. I would personally... Put 06 higher than Shadow. So, eh. Some people will disagree, some people will agree. I <laughs> couldn't really say. Because <laughs> I'm like Johnny, Johnny is where uh, I find 06 to be better than Shadow because, again, I'll say it again, I don't have to play the uh, Wave Ocean about 10 times to beat the game. Oh, oh trust, trust me, you've, you've gone way into. How much you like 06 better than Adventure 2 or the Adventure 2 playthrough? <laughs> I just got I just got to that point, Nezik. Oh, uh, when I go. Oh, her again. Yeah. Yeah, we remember her. Yeah, you know, there's a reason I talk to her in every store because if you do, she has all the items they have beforehand. Now, because she will sell, she will sell them now because the other shop, the normal shops, um, their stock is like gone. So if you talk to her, you can in all the shops you can buy all the stuff again still. Fucking TZ with a 50% offer you're not gonna give me? Yeah, I know, that's bullshit. I should've got a discount. I fed you Chocobo. <laughs> there you go. Hope you're happy. But I just bought a crystal bangle because I realized that I can't change my armor without an, a, a random extra item. Now, I was, temp I was thinking about buying an arm a new weapon for everyone else just in case I have to use them, but I thought it through, but... I'm pretty sure there's no point where I'm forced to use anyone anymore. I think I can use anyone I want from this point on. Also, yeah. yeah, I fast forward this because yeah, it took a while and I want I wanted to be straight to the point. It's pretty much, pretty much me just giving my characters what they had before, like way back when I just had Cloud, Tifa, and y Yuffie. So yeah, and now I'm done. So we're pretty much almost done this, but there's only a little bit left. Let's see, yeah, like a minute and a half. Yeah. Then we'll probably play TF2. <laughs> but yeah, I was checking if I could leave from there. But. I, I might as well start mentioning what's happening next part. Next part, we're going to be going to Jinan. You, well, you know, the place with the giant cannon on it, where we, the one weapon got headshot on. Oh. When I made that whole two, like, what? what? The, the, the one slow motion thing? Oh, okay, I think I know what you're talking about now. The giant... You, you can see the cannon on the outside of the building. Uh, when I go the right direction. Turn around. No, pass. Oh, I, I, I think I, remember, I think I kind of remember what you're talking about now. Remember when everyone was captured and the keeper was about to be poisoned? Yes. That place. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I was talking about. That weapon. I think how that's the first weapon that gets killed. It was so quick. <laughs> like we just learned about the weapons, and that weapon's pretty much killed off the first thing we do. <laughs> uh, no, get, land properly. Thank you. Please come on. There you go. But yeah, next time we're going to the underwater reactor to get the next huge material. But this time we have cloud, so we can't possibly fail. Or can we? Or can we? See you then, <laughs> in part 30, to find out.